Hey there, it's Stephen, your hardship real estate pro. I had this presentation a while ago on my YouTube channel, but I went to share it with somebody and the audio was so messed up. I'm just going to re record it. It was a pretty good little webinar I did with somebody and I recorded it. But again, the audio is such a was so bad. I'm just going to redo it. I wanted to talk about the biggest problems with selling your home on your own as for sale by owner. Biggest problem is finding a buyer on your own. Well, obviously, people want to sell on their own because they want to save the commission, right? It's their biggest advantage. Biggest advantage is saving that commission. That's really people's biggest motivation. Is there any possible disadvantage to continue selling on your own or even to consider selling on your own? Well, you have to think about who has the advantage in negotiating when homes are on the market for sale. Is it you? Mr. Seller, who has one home to sell, or is it the buyer who has 10 to 20 or more choices? Well, obviously, it's the buyer. And it's a buyer who really has access to all the money. How long have you advertised your home for sale? You've got to start thinking about this if you've been doing the for sale by owner thing for a while. If you have stopped receiving calls after a couple of weeks, if you're only getting one or two calls a week or maybe none, how many of your calls are from real estate agents following up? How many people actually come to your home to see it? And the people coming to see your home, how many of them are agents or agents accompanying a buyer? How many of these calls are from investors or people looking for seller financing or sub two or they're looking for rent to own? How many people need to sell their home in order to buy, or they're from out of state, or they're six months down the road? How many people won't do an offer in writing? How many people just keep giving their word because they're a man of their word? They're a gentleman. What would concern me if I were you? And you got to keep in mind, I sell several homes a month in your price range. Uh, really, I sell in several price ranges. And serious buyers, I work with them all the time. And everything I described to you before, none of those people are serious buyers. And if they don't do it in writing, and most of the time if they don't have representation or they're not an investor or some sort of professional, um, they're never going to buy your house. They're probably not going to buy any sort of other house. Can I explain why? You got to understand, serious buyers are pre-qualified and want to buy quickly. Almost all buyers, and we're talking like more than 97% of buyers of this type work with a real estate agent because of an agent's marketing knowledge, the market knowledge, negotiation skills, contract skills, services, and typically those services are paid for by the seller proceeds. It comes from the either cash the buyer provides or from the mortgage, blah, blah, blah. Like, well, we're not going to get into all that. Buyers. Uh, who are left over, meaning those buyers who don't work with a real estate agent are typically not in a hurry or they're casual lookers, they're bargain hunters, they're difficult people, or they have really bad credit issues or they're totally unqualified, like they're just not serious. And you have to keep in mind, over half this country does not own real estate, and never will. You have to keep that in mind. Over half of the United States will never own real estate. Real estate agents really don't like showing for sale by owners in general because they have to negotiate commission. That's part of it. Um, they have to do twice the amount of work because they're having to deal with representing their client, the buyer. But then they have to assume more liability, and they end up having to deal with the homeowner and kind of doing the job as a listing agent while not sacrificing the representation of the buyer and trying to um, – keep all this juggling of liability but really if, if i'm just going to be really direct it's a real pain to deal with homeowners in a for sale by owner situation because typically the homeowners that do the for sale by owner thing and insist on it you guys are a pain to work with because you're, you're doing something a minority of homeowners do if you're watching this and you've been selling on your own for a while you're left searching for a qualified buyer who's still not using a real estate agent. <laughs> and here's the thing. What you're looking for is somebody 
that probably doesn't exist. You you might as well go out to Wendover or Las Vegas. The odds are stacked against you. Every year, there are some people who do sell on their own. Statistics show that around 3% of all sales are for sale by owners to buyers that didn't that they did not know, but that their average sales price is dramatically less than those of all those that had real estate agents involved in the transaction. Do you want to win or lose? But here's the thing. Even if you sell your house, you might still lose. Statistically, if you sell the home without a real estate agent involved, or even if the buyer just has a real estate agent, you're probably going to still make less money. You're going to end up paying for more advertising. It's easy to spend way more than 1% of the sales price. It takes you longer to get the home sold than if you have your own listing agent. The title and legal fees are often higher because there tends to be more disputes. And uh, guess what? During an inspection period, most of the time, the sellers end up giving in way more money and repairs than if they have their own representation because you're emotionally exhausted. You guys have limited information. You have limited access. Your property is usually not staged. Um, a lot of times, you guys are such knuckleheads. You insist on being at every showing and getting in the way. Again, this frustrates buyers. Uh, again, notice there's a lot of psychology and emotion stuff here. I'm being blunt with you guys because, you, you, so again, you, your, your attitude gets in the way of you making the maximum amount of money. You've got to negotiate commission. People don't like working for free. No, no, this is not charity. It's not charity. Housing is not a charity or a right. It's twice the amount of work for agents and for everyone involved, including the title company, or, if so, or God forbid, if there's an attorney involved, there's more responsibility and more liability. And, and in the end, what we're talking about, who's interested in your home? It's those unqualified buyers, and it's those really bad investors. We've talked all about that. Now, we're going to go back to the the hottest year ever, COVID, that people are still stuck on. Um, In 2020, this is national average, and this comes from National Association of Realtors. The, these are the best studies when it comes to home sales in the United States of America. Your median sale price for for sale by owners was two hundred seventeen thousand nine hundred. The listed with an agent, these are median selling price two hundred ninety five thousand. The difference seventy seven thousand one hundred dollars. It's a big difference, guys. It's way more than that six percent commission. But let's get into some math because I know a lot of people struggle with math. If you look over the last few years, look at this difference. The average over the last, I mean, this is like more than 10 years. It's like, what is this? Uh, 12 years, 50,000. Look at that. Successful for sub by owner sellers achieve prices significantly below those from similar properties sold more traditionally by realtors via, via the multiple listing service. This is an independent study. Um, I can't remember who this was, collateral analytics research. This is some third party uh, independent firm that's not National Association of Realtors. Just in case you think, oh, well, there's bias because it's realtors. Realtors, of course, said that. Blah, 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 blah. Because, of course, everyone just wants to be against it. For some reason, people think Zillow or Big Tech is still amazing, which is hilarious to me. Uh, collateral analytics also said, we find that FISBOs tend to sell for lower prices than comparable home sales, and in many cases, below the average differential represented by the prevailing commission rate. The average was near 6% lower for FISBO sales. Now, I want to do a case study here in Utah. And this is one I did in 2021. Now, remember, I'm having to re-record this video. And I know this is probably not the most engaging video. There's probably some pauses and such. Hopefully, you're, you're not too obsessed with TikTok and have total TikTok brain and zoned out. Because we're talking about a lot of money here if you're selling your home. So hopefully, you've paid attention. Now, I helped a for sale by owner in Bountiful. And this was up the hill near the Bountiful Temple. A uh, guy had his mother pass away. She had a condo. He listed this condo in case on Facebook, and he listed it for $390,000. Okay, 
he ended up selling it to an unrepresented buyer. It was a father who was buying it cash for his son. And the father bought it for 370000 I don't remember exactly how we got connected. I think we spoke on Facebook, and then I went there a couple times, gave the uh, son who was selling it some suggestions, and I even gave him some comps. What was funny is there were two similar condos. Um, one had sold for four fifteen and one for four or nine. The condo that was on the market, if I remember, it had not been updated at all, which is pretty typical with baby boomers and silent generations um, and bountiful and, and any other parts of the United States. They never update this stuff, original carpet and such. Same with these two that had sold, um, but he priced it lower because he couldn't get it sold. And this was still when the market was really hot in 2020, 2021, hottest seller market in the United States history. You got to remember that. And I'm really pushing this because, again, everyone talks about I'm going to sell on my own and save all this money in commission. It's great. Blah, 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 blah. And, it, and I'll tell you, it pisses me off, guys, because I hear you, you knuckleheads say this stuff. And, and look already at the difference. We're not even going to get into I haven't even gotten into the commission in numbers yet. But he took a offer for three hundred and seventy thousand. OK, now this home had a reverse mortgage. All right. He ended up hiring me because the reverse mortgage company insisted that he have um, proof that he was really selling it because they, they had some other sort of lean on it. He wouldn't give me the details and he wouldn't let me look at the uh, preliminary report or any other sort of reports from the title company he was using. But he ended up having me do some sort of listing agreement. I can't remember exactly, and I, I charged him one um, percent. Now here's the thing: even if there had been a full six percent commission, and we're just saying six percent, even though I, I actually charge more, I charge seven percent on uh, a lot of senior transactions because we do estate sales and moving and such. It's a hell of a lot of work. He would have made more money on his mother's place. Take for example, if he had priced it like this one home. We had said $415,000 minus 6%. That's $24,900. He would have netted this money. Look, that was the original price he listed it for. Or even this one. Look, that was less than the original price. But remember, he accepted this price. He accepted this price. But guys, because he charged me that 1%. Oh, and, and hey, I didn't even get into... Um. The closing costs, plus he had HOA fees. Oh, and he had to keep paying the reverse mortgage, and he had to pay back whatever money she paid on the reverse mortgage. If for some reason you don't know how the reverse mortgage works, it takes equity out of the home. So it's, you know, debt on the home. And he lived in Idaho. He was driving down every weekend to do open houses instead of having someone do it for him who was local. And he replaced the furnace and the AC. I have no idea what all that cost him. And again, he still hired me for the 1% to handle the closing. So, oh, I, I didn't mention this before. Yeah, the reverse mortgage company was giving him hassle, but no joke. He didn't want me to look at the title stuff, but he had no idea how to do the contracts. Even though he was an attorney. Get that. He was an attorney. Don't remember what type of attorney he was. But he was an attorney, and he didn't know how to do the real estate contracts and felt he needed the help. This guy, like, this is what he netted after my commission. But this number doesn't really reflect the net because I don't know what he got. I don't remember um, because when I made this, I, I didn't pull all the documentation out, which, which is kind of bad. But I did this to help another for sale by owner. Remember, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm redoing this for YouTube. Isn't that ridiculous, guys? He lost between $23,800 to $18,160 just because of the fear of commissions, not to mention time and other upfront costs. Guys, do you know there are people in this damn country that make this in six months to a year as like their yearly salary? He didn't say by cutting out a realtor. He still lost around $20,000. I'm sorry. It's a lot of money just to do it yourself. And this was during the hottest seller's market in the real, real estate market in United States history. 
this is local. This isn't just me looking at, oh, here's the National Association of Realtors or an independent study. This is a study I did in my own. This is my own experience. And there are way other, there are many other cases like this in Utah. You can talk to plenty of other realtors. And yeah, I'm sure there are deals and I'm sure there's some magic case where, well, I my, no, my, my neighbor said he did this and that. But you know what? Does your neighbor pull out the numbers and show you? I bet they didn't. You know, people lie like that because of shame and they, they don't have the experience. He doesn't know. It's just pride. I know the numbers. People don't do math. I did the math here for you. Here's the thing. You know what? I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you more money because I'm an experienced negotiator. I'm going to use the latest marketing and advertising school tools. I'm going to get you more qualified buyers, better quality buyers. I have that marketing and advertising budget. I have that advice for your contracts. I have the pricing advice. And give you more peace of mind. Every buyer is going to be pre-qualified. They're going to be accompanied by an agent. They're going to be controlled when they come into your property. We have a team of experts. We have professional guidance. You're going to have a ton of convenience where that home is going to be shown anytime where we gonna we are going to give you complete contract review. All marketing negotiations and inspections will be handled by us. Our team is completely on your side. We will assist you through the closing. We will help you with your new home or whatever the next step is. If you felt that you could actually get the most money, the quickest sell, and the fewest problems by giving me an exclusive listing today, would you at least consider it? Sitting around and waiting is not worth it anymore. You need to sell your home. That's why you have it listed. Stop the pretending and saying, oh, we're not in a rush. Yes, you are. You posted it all over the internet. Stop it. Stop it. Let me help you, okay? We live in a world where people want to pretend. I promise you as a professional, I am honest. And especially in Utah, a lot of people don't want to be honest. I pride myself on being very honest with you and candid because I really want to help people to get this done. Do I make money? Of course I make money. Duh, I make money. And I want to know what's going on with you. Why do you need to sell? And let's get a game plan so we can get it sold. Look at my other YouTube videos. I, I don't have a ton of testimonials at the moment, but I'm getting more. I, I just had one the other day where I helped a woman who was in dire need. It, it's a big deal to help people. Let me help you. Your home is for sale by owner because you need to sell. It's not a game to sell a home. Let me help you. You need to give me a call. 901-517-0969. Let's go over the plan. Talk to you soon.